other reasons are disturbing the implant while removing the acrylic bridge using crown remover. So, cut and remove do not avoid excessive pressure while removing and avoid removing the bridge before 12 months before 12 months do not use crown remover do it as gentle as possible while removing the bridge. Cut the entire uh... no, 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 no buckle one cut lingual one cut occlusal one cut use a periosteal elevator to split it then you can use the artery forcep to remove yeah. remove. Since it is acrylic, it is easy to remove. Even if you are using metal acrylic, it is easy provided uh, you are giving no metal, thin metal. Okay. If you use thick metal, thick metal. then it will be uh, yeah. very difficult. And not splinting the problem. For example, you are placing 5 implants, do not give us 3 unit bridge and 2 unit bridge, give it as 5 unit bridge. Whenever implants are there next to each other, splint all implants, right to left, left to right, anything. Okay, Do not try to give you know, separate, separate bridges. And the suggested number of implant in maxilla is 8 to 10 and we can go with 6 also in maxilla provided the bone condition is very good. You are not going till the tuberosity and you are stopping till first molar. You can manage with 6. We have seen one patient with 6 and in maxilla 6 is enough. Most of the situation 6 is enough. If you find very thin ridge, small ridge you have to use 3.510 or 3.58 then you can increase the number of implants. And this saying, no, this is a common saying, never under acute the maxilla because it is <coughs> cancerous and it is the arch is slightly wider than mandible and when the mandible closes, the mandible gives a no, external pressure upon the maxilla. So, naturally maxilla gets more uh, stress. So, always place more implant in the maxilla than in the mandible and not giving bilateral occlusion. For example, full mouth rehabilitation you are giving. Uh, you are giving occlusion only on the one side, there is no contact on the left side. This is also an uh, unbalanced situation. And this is one phenomena uh, given in the uh, literature, cluster implant failure. There is no reason, no obvious reason the implants will fail for that patient. Whatever, how many implant surgeries you do repeatedly, uh, something they did they could not able to find out the reason. This phenomena is happens you know, somewhere, very rarely it has been reported in the literature. There is no reason. Okay, you, was, you can you can Google it and you can it. It's called something cluster, cluster something. Not Any area the implant is not uh, taking away, it is failed. It will fail. Okay, but we have not uh, seen uh, such case. I am not. I am not sure. No, no, regular, regular, conventional, conventional. Any system, any system, any system. The uh, the implant will fail. Yes, yes. It is very rare, very rare, very rare. Only few reports. I uh, don't think too much. <laughs> so, this is one implant failed, removed, okay. Same day we fixed one more, okay. This is one technique, no. You can see the blood level till here. After drilling, you can use this length to select the implant. You can actually take the implant and keep it next to implant, and you can no need to take a scale and do it, okay. This is all some failed implant cases we managed, and this is one interesting case. It got fractured the natural tooth, okay. <coughs> only root was remaining. We removed the root, we immediately placed the implant, it was excellent stability, but the implant got failed. The answer is lies in this photo. Okay. And if you see here this tooth, this tooth, this tooth is hitting heavily, that we failed to recognize it, okay. So, we have to do a relieve this area, okay. So, we read the implant. You can see, you know, the implant came along with the along with the crown. Okay, you can see the grooves which we discussed earlier. You can put this kind of, you no, know, two or three horizontal grooves so that the retention will be good. Uh -huh.